Hey, it's Catherine Nicholson here from the virtual training team. Just going to take you through a really quick tutorial of getting your head around WebEx Training Center in particular, around how to run breakout sessions because they're really powerful and important ways of really giving your participants space and time to practice share in smaller groups. But a lot of um, virtual trainers are a little bit nervous of using them just because of the tech. But it's, it's fairly straightforward, so let me help you out. So you can see my screen, which I'm sharing, and to set up a breakout group, we found the breakout tab at the top of the screen here. Click on that, and then here are your options. So we're going to assign some breakout sessions. Once I click that, you're going to see that a pop-up box appears. I recommend that you set your breakout sessions up manually. You can do it automatically, where you just set the number of breakout sessions and the number of people. But honestly, it's not always gone to plan when I've used it in the past, so I prefer to do it manually. So we need to decide how many breakout sessions we want. So let's imagine we're going to have two. Breakout session, there we are. So we can rename them if you want to. Um, change the name. So maybe team one. There we go. And then we'll change this one to team two. There's no real benefit in doing it, but it's just quite a nice touch. So what we need to do now is we've got our participants here on the left-hand side, our attendees. We need to allocate them to a breakout room. So if I click Team 1, I'm going to click Abby, and I just click on this Chevron button here, and that puts Abby into the first breakout group, Team 1, and then I'm going to put Kat into the second one. Of course, you're going to have more people um, in your sessions. This is just for demo purposes. So they're all good to go. Um, unfortunately, you can't do this at the, uh, before people have actually joined the session, so you need to do it during the session. So it's worth practicing just so you can get really quick in it. So I'm going to click OK, and you'll see down the bottom right-hand side of the screen there, you've got your breakout session panel that's opened up. And if I want to hit Start, then the participants are going to get a couple of pop-up boxes. So the first one says, um, you've been assigned as a presenter or attendee to join a breakout session. Do you want to start the session now? So our participants are going to click Yes, and then they'll get a second pop-up box asking if it's okay for them to leave the main audio conference and then need to click yes again. So you might just want to um, direct them to do that. And as you can see now in our participant panel, these little squares next to um, the breakout, um, so next to the attendee names means they've gone into the breakout session. And we can send them some messages. So if we just go back to the breakout drop down, broadcast message. We can send a message to just the presenters or to everyone. And you might want to give them a bit of a, a nudge on time. So, hey, everyone, you've got two minutes left, for example. When you click send, they then get that as a pop-up box in their breakout. So let's go and join one of the breakout groups. We'll join Abby's. So back to the breakout drop down, and you can see join breakout session. So we're going to join team one, which is Abby's. And you'll see we get those two breakout pop-ups. Um, you, your audience comments will be switched to the main session. Do you want to continue? Yes. So here we are. You can see now we're with Abby in the breakout session. So once in breakouts, just as we can in the main room, we can share documents. So you might want to share a file. I'm just doing that now. Share file. And we might share, let's see. A poster. So that's just loading up now. And we can annotate on the poster and save the poster. And we can also share a whiteboard as well. So there's the poster. If we're going to share a whiteboard, again, share whiteboard. Super simple. And your participants can do this as well. Okay. So now we're on the whiteboard, just as we can on the poster, we can actually annotate. So here are your row of annotation tools. So it might be that Abby and I are discussing ideas and we want to capture some of our ideas to then share back with the main group. So we can just click on the capital T, click somewhere else on the screen, type our message. <laughs> Brilliant ideas. Uh, you just need to click somewhere else from where you've typed for everyone else to see that. And we could also draw and put squares and circles. You can change the, the color of your pen as well with the palette. And the pointers are quite helpful. So clicking on the arrow means you can then point using your mouse at different things on the screen as well. You've also got a helpful eraser if you regret anything that you put down. So 
all of these great ideas we want to share back in the main room. So the great news is, is the whiteboard or the poster, if we're doing it on this, um, are saved automatically. So when we go back to the main room, which we're going to do now, so I'm going to leave the breakout session and then I'll show you how to close the breakout sessions for your participants because you've got a couple of options. So you can just click end all and that way you get a 30 second countdown and then the breakout sessions will be ended automatically. Or you can go back to the breakout drop down and actually ask everyone to return. So when you click on that, everyone gets a pop up message to say the presenter requests that you end the breakout session and return to the main session. And there's the option to end that session. So we should just see everyone coming back into the room right now. So I want to share Abby's breakout poster um let's just the whiteboard let's share the whiteboard so to do that you've got to wait for everyone else to get back in the room for this to work and you can just click on your breakout drop down box and share breakout session content the presenters for each group that appear so abby is there from team one and i'm just going to click on abby and click ok and then what abby will get is a little pop-up box asking for her to share the breakout session content. She's just going to click in the little box next to whiteboard and click OK. And then here at the top of the room, instantly, there's the whiteboard. And then Abby and her group can share what they talked about. If you want to save any of these, by the way, you can just save as you would any normal file. So top left, save as document. Recommendation is that you just change the format here to a PDF. Otherwise, you need a WebEx reader to be able to save those. So you just click Save there. And that's it. That's your super simple walkthrough on how to run breakout sessions in WebEx. Give it a go, practice, and I think you'll find that they're a great addition to your virtual sessions.